we've found is that uh, the way in which we're managing the portfolios has provided on a consistent basis um, a 3% alpha on what we're seeing in the market, um, which is giving our clients a, a lot more confidence in the way that their portfolios are being managed. Uh, obviously, there's been some really strong market performances recently. Uh, and over the past 12 months, portfolios have continued to go up. We've seen that people have gotten used to double digit returns, um, particularly with uh, post COVID uh, bounce backs after a V-shaped recovery. And this has really led to uh, an irrational exuberance, I suppose, on how the portfolios will continue to perform over the long period um, or uh, just markets in general. So what we're seeing is that markets will continue to um, uh, increase um, and, and be volatile uh, in the long term. But when we're, when we're thinking about how we measure our performance, it's going to be over that extended period where we uh, manage the downturn periods um, lowering the, the impact on, on clients' portfolios when they are hit by any kind of drawback in, uh, in equity markets. Forward is um, some uh, expectations that, that there will be uh, large upticks in, in returns. Um, the uh, the recent election of, of Donald Trump has had an immediate effect on the markets. Overnight, there's been uh, an increase, um, an injection of, of capital into the US market of 1.6 trillion. So we can really see that those equity markets have exploded overnight, uh, delivering their fifth best return um, in history. Uh, the, the reason why this is so important and relevant is that people are continuing to see these sorts of returns. And after January 6, uh, we, we probably see this for the next 12 months. So we've had really good returns for the past 12 months. We will most likely uh, see these sorts of returns for the short period as well. There will be a time where these markets draw back. Markets are responding to new technologies such as AI. Uh, people are incredibly pro and, and, and uh, excited about these sorts of things being released into the market. Um, however, at the same point in time, the delivery on the capital that's being in, invested, um, so the returns that are being received from, from that investment, uh, such as earnings on the investment in capital, uh, is not really keeping up with necessarily those, those um, uh, huge increases in in equity markets. Back, uh, there will be a time when uh, people will feel that uh, there is a downturn. Uh, they'll worry about their portfolios, their life savings, and this is completely rational uh, to, to see these sorts of things happen. Um, however, one of the things that we really want to make sure that we're doing is that we're creating a, a wide moat for the portfolio. We're managing it actively and we're keeping an eye on how we keep the quality in the portfolio to, to manage the downside risk of any client's portfolio so that when the market does dip, it doesn't dip as much for the client's portfolio as it does in the general market. And this is something that we will be able to uh, manage with good, sophisticated investment approaches. Mm -hmm.